hi everyone welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to create your own nas server at your home using a virtual machine so if you have just one pc and don't want to mess up your main system then this method is perfect for you you can set up and explore a nas safely inside a virtual machine so without wasting much more of your time let's get started so at first you need to download a uh, sigma nas for that you just need to open your browser and type sigma nas and go to this website which is sigma nas.com and after that you need to click on download over here and click on this download button from here you can choose any uh, version so i'll cho choose here old releases uh 12.3 so here you will get a uh, lots of file so you have to download this iso file to install on your virtual machine okay after that you can use a virtual box or virtual machine okay so you can use oracle virtual box or else you can use a uh, vmware okay so i will use on this video vmware so first i will click on new virtual machine and click on next then here i will add that uh, ISO file so I'll select that ISO file and click on next now here I just need to select Linux Ubuntu version 64 bit and click on next now you can choose your virtual machine name so I'll type over here Sigma NAS after that click on next here you can choose core per processor so I'll choose choose here 2 then click on next choose your your ram size so i'll select here uh 7000 mb and that's main 7 gb of ram for this virtual machine and click on next here for network connection i will choose the breach network connection uh through this way i can i can access this uh nas server from any computer on my lan and after that click on next the next and then maximum disk size i will set here 40 gb and click on next then finish after done you just need to click on power on this virtual machine now first i have to install an upgrade i have to choose this option which is install an upgrade from live cd so which is number nine so i'll type over here nine sorry nine and press enter now i have to press enter once again enter then here i have to select the uh, cd dvd or usb drive so i'll press enter then i have to choose my hard drive so which is vmware hard drive which is near about uh, 43 gb so i'll press enter and press enter then enter here i have to type all in caps and after that press enter after installation done i have to press enter and now i will press tab button from my keyboard and after that exit this window press enter now i'll reboot this server so i'll type 7 and press enter yes then enter now what i'll do is i will disconnect that uh, iso file After done, I will log in. Uh, the user in user ID is admin, and password is sigma s. After done, I will set the network IP address. I will select here two and press enter. Now it is showing like do you want to use DHCP? So I'll select here no. IP I will choose my LAN IP which is 192.168 range. 0 dot 194 i will select here which is which will be my sigma nas ip address i'll press enter 
Now I can press enter for subnet marks and after that I have to type my default gateway which is 192.168.0.1 and after that press enter DNS is same 192.168.0.1 and press enter here is showing like uh, if you want to uh, configure the IPv4.6 so I'll press no press enter After done, I will reboot the server once again and let's see the IP address is changing or not. Now as you can see, IP address is successfully assigned. Now what I'll do is, I will open my browser and type the IP address of my Sigma NAS which is 192.168.0.194 and press enter. As you can see, I'm getting login page. The username is admin. The password is Sigma NAS. Okay. And after that, press login. After done, I have to click on uh, system. Then general first. Here I will select here protocol is HTTPS. Then I will select here the time zone. Then host name you can select any. I will type over here technology. And here is for DNS server. I will select here save. After that, what I'll do is I will just click on system, then reboot the server. I'll click on yes. After reboot it successfully, I will add one uh, storage uh, for these. Sigma NAS. So as of now, I'll add one USB pen wipe near about 60 GB. So I'll add. So as you can see, it is showing like new USB device detected. You want to connect to the host or virtual machine. So I'll select here virtual machine, then Sigma NAS, then I will click on OK. After done, I have to open once again my browser. Now this time I have to type HTTPS then colon slash slash the IP address of my Sigma NAS then press enter. I have to click on advance then proceed. Now here I have to type the admin username is admin and password is Sigma NAS and I will log in. So if you want to change the password for your Sigma NAS then simply click on system sorry click on general and here you will get a password prompt so you can uh, put your current password the new password you can change from here so as of now i will not change the password so now what i'll do is i will directly click on disk then management and here i will click on import I click on ok and as you can see my virtual machine device and my usb device is showing so i'll work with this usb device so what I'll do is I will click on the select device and click on apply changes. Once it will done, I will click on HD format. And after that, I will select my device and click on next. Now here you just need to type the volume level. You can type anything. So I'll type over here Sigma NAS, something like and after that click on next then click on format okay after done click on ok and would wait for a few seconds after done it will auto log out so you have to log in once again with your username and password After login, you need to click on disk, then JFS. Now here, you just need to click on virtual device. Now click on this plus button over here. 
under toolbox. Now here you just need to type the name. Okay, you can type any name. So I'll type over here technology. Okay, after that, you need to select this device. And if you have only one hard drive or one SSD, you can uh, select your Stripe or else you can use the red technology. So I'll click on Stripe and click on OK. After that, click on Apply Changes. Once it will done, you need to click on Management. Then click on this plus button. Then you can type any name. I will type over here trick and I will select the virtual device list from here and after that click on add then click on apply changes after done you need to click on access then click on user and groups so first I will create groups for that I will click on groups now go to the last line here you will create a plus button over here click on add group group name you can select any i will select here technology and after that you just need to click on add after i added successfully click on apply changes now click on users click on add put your new uh, username so i'll type the login name is uh, test then test and after that password is one two three now select the groups from here and after that click on add. Now click on apply changes. Now I have to click on services then click on SMB and click on enable. After enable you need to click on edit over here and click on share over here. Click on this plus button over here. Now here you just need to type the share name and the path path you just need to select from here after that click on ok now enable guest access you need to uncheck this option after that click on add uh, share click on add after that you need to click on apply changes next I will go to the services then I will add NFS NFS is for if you want to share on Linux this share folder so you have to enable NFS click on this enable button after that click on edit now click on this check this option which is enable NFS v a v4 server and click on apply after that click on apply changes to enable ftp you need to uh, click on this enable option and after that click on save and restart now if you'll go to the status then services it will show you nfs is enable ftp is enable and smb is enable as you can see now i will show you how to access the sigma nas share folder from your machine windows machine for that simply go to your uh, file manager means file explorer and after that type over here type the username and password which is in my case test then 123 we click on ok as you can see i'm able to access that share folder from here now i'll show you how to access through filezilla for that in host i have to type the ip address of my sigma nas server username is test password is 123 port is 21 and i'll click on quick connect then click on ok as you can see trick folder is showing under that the test folder is showing which i've already created so through this way you can create a NAS server on your uh, virtual machine. Before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members. A special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button 
and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always I will see you on the next one.